guys welcome again to another video so today i am super excited because i'm recording using this new iphone feature welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're joining for the first time well hi my name is sandra if you are not yet a subscriber click that subscribe button a lot of you guys are watching my videos and you're not a subscriber so get my subscribers numbers up by clicking that subscribe button so i'm doing this video because um i've done a couple of videos about the i-130 um petition and i will link them above and um you can go and watch them but today i want to talk about the fees that um you have to pay with the i-130 um application so um i did mine in 2018 and i think a few things have changed uh, but i'm just going to tell you about the fees and then maybe i'll do a follow-up video to talk about the things that have changed other than the fees right um so first of all the initial application is the um the i-130 petition for spousal um that one when i did it was 535 dollars fee but now it's 635 dollars so it's gone up by 100 dollars. i think um during covid i think the fees went up just a little bit for um each application and i think they actually put a notice out there before it actually did go up the one so, that i noticed that you have to pay for i don't know maybe because i didn't use it I didn't know that you had to pay for it. The affidavits of support, I believe you had to pay. It's $120. I did not know that that is new. Um, so, and also the next one is um, the, so after you get approved by the USCIS, your file does does get moved to N, N, oh man, NVC. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm starting to forget, oh my goodness, NVC. And those, um, that over there is in your respectful country. That's where you're filing for the spouse to come. That's where your spouse is living. So that one, you pay in the currency of your country and you pay to your country, right? So for me, at the time that I did it, um, it was 50,000 um, Naira in, in Nigeria. And I think that's about $150 now or $200. I'm not sure, but it was 50,000 there. I don't know if it's gone up yet. Um, the next one is the um, USCIS immigration fee. So that one, I think I can also call it the green card fee. So this is after you've gone to USCIS, you've gone through that, you've gone to NVC, you've gone for your interview. Now, when your file gets approved, when your visa gets approved, you have to pay the $220 to the USCIS to begin to process your green card. That is something you must do before you come to America because they will literally send you back if you haven't done that, right? So now let's get into who should be paying. <laughs> It gets a little touchy for some people when it gets to this point so for me i believe that if you're the one living in america most of these fees you have to pay them in dollars like you can't pay this fee from another country with another currency most of them so the initial fee which is the 635 has to pay be paid in us dollars the 200 and the affidavits of support 120 has to be paid in US dollars. The um, immigration fee, the green card fee, has to be paid in US dollars. That's the $220. So now, it might get touchy. Some people might feel like, oh, if I'm filing for you, you should be paying for it. Look, don't get too sticky about this part. Like, if you live in America, I'm sure you have a job or I'm sure you're paying bills, just pay the fees. Like. You already started the sacrifice. You already know this is the person you love. You already know this is the person you're bringing to this country. I don't think it's a big deal. If your spouse then says, I'll send you the money, then you convert it and pay it, even better. But it should not be an issue 
<laughs> that should not be a reason why you no longer get married to the person. Like, that would just pretty much show that y'all yeah, were not really serious about getting married in the first place. That's my opinion. So, um, number one, just pay the fees. It's not even up to $2,000. It really isn't. $635, $325. 120 220 it's not even up to um two thousand dollars just look at it as this is the investment into your marriage if you start to behave weird about these fees before your spouse even gets here you're gonna make them nervous because at the end of the day they are moving their life to come be with you as much as you might think oh my god i'm giving them the chance i'm giving them opportunity it's Look, there's sacrifice on both sides. And in my opinion, I think the other person moving their lives to be here is making more sacrifice than you that lives here already. So this is just my little, you know, advice. Um, make sure you pay those fees. Um, and also, if you're using your credit card to pay, make sure you call the credit card company ahead of time. Like as soon as you pay it, as soon as you mail out the money order or whatever, make sure you call your bank and your credit card company and let them know that this is a fee that is coming is uscis because you do not want your fees to be denied my goodness that's the worst thing ever if your fee gets denied your whole process just went down the drain uscis don't got time to be calling you and telling you your fees got denied like you literally just messed up your whole, you know, paperwork and stuff. So make sure you call the bank and make sure your money order is accurate. Make sure you're addressing it to the right office. Please read these instructions. Like, you know, when you're filling it out, they give you um, instructions next to it. Please read them. And if you're not that good at understanding, go over it with somebody. Um, don't be afraid or shy about that. For me, when I was doing it, I had a friend that had already gone through it. I went over it with her. And then also me and my husband, like we would go over the instructions to make sure we're doing the right thing. So guys, please don't, you know, mess up this um, stuff with, um, you know, who's paying, who's filling out what. Oh, another question that came up was, the DS-260 file, who should be filling that out? So the DS-260 file is literally the information for your spouse that you're bringing. However, there's some wording that it's a little bit ambiguous or confusing. Um, so please go over it with your spouse. Don't leave it up to them to just like, um, you know, do it by themselves and say, okay, I've already, you know, done what I need to do. Now take it up by yourself, right? At the end of the day, you guys are both making that decision to come together and be together. So let's stick to that, right? Um, regarding fees, um, I believe I'm gonna link the USCIS link down below where that shows you all the monies that you're gonna have to pay. Um, please take some time and read them, understand them. And if you're not sure, ask somebody. Don't feel like you can't ask questions. But anyway, guys, um, yeah. That's just my little um, continuation from the last three videos that I've posted regarding my um, petition, my I-130 petition. Um, yeah, um, let me know if um, you have any questions regarding the fees. I will answer if I can, but please don't ask me to pay your fees. <laughs> like, if you go <laughs> try to marry somebody in another country, I'm sure you realize there was some type of money that came into the story. So please don't message me with that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you share this video with somebody that's a little bit confused. I'm gonna go over the fees again. The I-130 petition is the $635. It was $535. The affidavits of support is $120. And the um, DS-260, which is the one that goes with NVC, that is $325. And then the um, I, um, Form I-693, which is the one for um, the, the medical doctor's appointment in your country for the petitioner. No, is it a petitioner? No, for the person that is being filed for, right? That one is, in my country, Nigeria, it was um, 50,000 Naira. I don't know if it's 
increased now i may most likely think it has but it was 50,000 naira. please do not go do it somewhere else and expect to come back and give them the paperwork they're not going to take it um and then the immigration fee which is the green card fee to process your green card um um that one is 220 dollars so let me know if you have any questions and i hope you have a wonderful day take care.